It is Thursday and it's the day that the drought monitor comes out. So if you're just watching the news for today, I want to get you caught up. Last week's drought monitor showed that the bulk of our area sat under a moderate drought indicated by the tan coloring that you see here. The yellow represents abnormally dry conditions, which was not a drought at that time. But as we look at the latest update again, we see less in the way of the moderate drought, but still parts of the area sit under that. However, the extreme northern parts of our area have entered into a severe drought indicated by that more orange coloring. So even though we've had some rain, it's been helpful. We need more rain. Now keep in mind, Francine's rain was not included in that drought op update that came out for this week. It will be incorporated into next week's update. But again, the recent rainfall was definitely helpful and needed. As far as Francine's rain for Meridian picking up generally about Let's say an inch and a quarter or close to that amount. As far as area wide, the average was about one to two inches again on average. There were some spots that may have gotten a little bit more. We were expecting more rain, but at least we did get a decent amount and we're going to have daily rain chances going forward, so that will be helpful for our drought as well. Right now, EMEPA live radar looking relatively quiet. We had a few little sprinkles that was making its way across the northern tier of our viewing area. Those are somewhat fizzling out, but we could see some spotty showers through the night affiliated with the moisture wrapping around the remnants of Francine, and this is also affiliated with an upper level low. It's no longer tropical in nature because it's now attached to a frontal boundary and the upper level feature along with that is just going to kind of gradually slide towards us as we work into the weekend. So it's going to keep us with rounds of showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder at times, and also we're going to have additional clouds that would be in place. So here's a close review. As we go through the night, we'll keep some isolated showers in the mix. Heading into your Friday morning, there's a chance for some hit and miss showers. We're going to have a lot of dry moments, but we'll have the chance for those hit and miss showers through the day. Here's a lunch hour. We could have a band moving through again affiliated with the moisture that's remnant from Francine by the evening time. Seven o'clock football games kicking off. It looks like the weather will be cooperative, but take a poncho because an isolated shower or two can't be ruled out. And then we'll have that upper level feature moving down as we head towards the weekend. So for your Saturday, we'll have the day starting out with clouds. We'll have some pesky light to moderate showers. And as we go through the day, we'll have rounds of on again and off again rain activity similar for your Sunday. So this weekend, make sure you keep a ring here with you. As far as what's happening in the tropics, again, Francine is no more, but we still have a named system, or should I say a tropical cyclone? It's not named yet. It could become Gordon, though, sooner than later, but for right now, so the tropical depression, tropical depression number seven, and it is expected to become a tropical storm over the next 24 to maybe 36 hours. But right now, it has a max of same winds of 35, and is not expected to be a threat to our local area. There are two other areas that we're going to keep an eye on, especially the one off the southeast coast of the U.S. It'll be more of a threat for the East Coast, but again, for right now, both those areas have that low chance for development. Locally, here's a view outside. Again, much more quiet and peaceful and serene compared to what we saw at the same time last night. Temperatures are into the low to mid 70s, 73 right now, Meridian. Overnight lows will bottom out into the upper 60s, close to 70. Again, a few of those on again and off again, light showers are possible. And for your Friday, carry an umbrella. We'll have a chance for some hit and miss showers as we go through the day. Those temperatures staying below the average, only reaching around the low to mid 80s. So here's that 10 day forecast at 10. It's sponsored by the Stephen Wilson Law Firm. Again, as we head towards the weekend, rain chances go up affiliated with an upper level low that's going to have a lot of Francine's remnant moisture. So more opportunities for rain. That's helpful for our drought situation. Look at next week, though. This is that 10 day forecast oh. at 10 and we're 10 days away from fall, which kicks off <gasps> Sunday wow. and it looks like we're going to have a decent kick off to the new season. But of course, it's 10 days away, so things could change, but it's in view now. So the countdown <laughs> is on. It's